life can be grueling, whether it is having money problems, you know, if you're in pain, you know, you have heartbreak, you know, whatever it is, life can be really grueling. But the one thing to understand is that no matter how tough life gets, we have to always keep moving forward to keep, you know, working on bettering ourselves, bettering our situation in life. And, you know, because when we stop, when we stop trying to move up in the world, you know, whether it's spiritually, you know, just making a uh, good working wage, you know, as long as you keep working towards that, you know, you're on the right path. And, you know, like I said, life can be grueling. Some days are easy, some days are insanely difficult. And as long as you keep trucking forward, you keep going forward and keep working hard each and every day towards your dreams, t towards your aspirations, towards your uh, being the best version of yourself, you know, that is, that is the best way to live life. Because when we give up, when we, uh, you know, even just staying the same, you're like, okay, well, I still won't drink today. I, I, I won't smoke today, but I'm not going to do anything to improve myself to improve, you know, where I'm at in life. And, you know, that is the same as moving backwards. That is the same as failing. Because staying the same and, if, staying the same and, you know, deciding to drink or smoke, you know, if you are trying to quit those things, you know, if that's your goal to become sober, you know, choosing to, you know, skip that day of working out, to skip eating that healthy meal. You know, when you choose to just stay the same for the day, you know, you're still moving backwards. So we always have to be moving forward. And look at it like this too. You know, say your goal is to gain five pounds of muscle mass. And, you know, you're going to the gym. You've gone every day, not every day, but say you go five days a week to the gym for the last three months. But, you know, this is one of the days you're supposed to go to the gym and you've been very disciplined. But you're like, I absolutely don't want to work out. But in your mind, you're like, you know what? I could do bench press today. So... It's wise just to, you know, if you truly want to accomplish your goals, go to the gym that day and be like, be easy on yourself, you know, because we all have tough days. Be like, I'll just do bench press and, that, and then leave. Like, you know, before you go to the gym to convince yourself to actually go. And then, you know, once you get there, you'll be like, okay, you do bench press. You're like, you know, I can do a couple more workouts. Maybe it's not the best, uh you know, day of exercising for you, you know, you're not working out the hardest, but at the end of the day, you went to the gym and you're still, even if it's just, you know, they say take steps towards being the best version of yourself, even if it's just a half of a step, at least you're still moving in the direction you want to go. Because we're all going to have grueling days, we're all going to have absolutely shitty days. But if we can, you know, and the simple example is going to the gym, you know, as long as you can, okay, I'm still uh, going to go to the gym. I'll just do an easy workout that day. And sometimes you'll surprise yourself. You'll be like, wow, I actually did all my exercises. It was just, you know, I just really didn't want to go. But once I got there, you know, I got, I, I have energy. And, you know, I did all the workouts, so 
just understanding that if you're pushing forward every single day and, you know, you will eventually get where you want to go in life. And it's that mindset of never giving up. It's that David Goggins mindset of just, you know, we all have that war in our mind where we're like, you know, we don't want to go for that run. We don't want to work out. We don't want to um, play that game of chess because we're so tired. But, you know, our goal was, you know, we want to play at least one game of chess a day or five games of like three minute, five games of three minute games a day. You know, say that's your goal. Well, at the end of the day, sometimes we have to force ourselves just to keep keep going because if we don't it's just going to be even tougher for us because say you skipped you know you want to be a grandmaster in chess and you're close right you are uh, you're almost there but all of a sudden you're you've lost all motivation you got to keep in the back of your mind that you know you've had this goal for such a long time for you know, to be a grandmaster. And, you know, you're like, why am I losing motivation? Why don't I want to play chess? Well, as long as you understand that, say you've had this goal for five or ten years. Well, as long as you understand that, okay, say you take the week off, say you take the month off, it's going to be that more difficult to even, you know, become that grandmaster. Because knowing that, you know, when you take a break, you will, you will go back to that goal. So you might as well just push yourself to keep working. You know, they don't have to be the best uh, study sessions of chess, you know. And chess is just an example. But... As long as we keep moving forward, it's the most important thing we can do. Because we gotta know, we have these goals for a reason. You know, we want to be the best version of ourselves. We want to be that A-plus chess player. We want to be that pro surfer. We want to gain five pounds of muscle. And when you know you're just gonna delay the process of being the best, you know, accomplishing that goal that you have in your mind, that you will... It's just going to take longer, so you might as well just suck it up, freaking go to that workout, keep studying chess, go to the beach and catch some waves, whatever it is. You, you'll you be like, okay, I'm just going to force myself to work out today. I'm just going to force myself to be disciplined. And when you do that, that's when you become un unstoppable because... Like, no matter what life is throwing at you, even if it's just a half step towards your goals, like, you're, keep, you're staying with the momentum of accomplishing your goals. And as long as you do that, you will be the best version of yourselves and you will accomplish your aspirations and you will be who you want to be. Because when you better yourself every day, in a positive way, you will, you're increasing, you know, how good humanity is. Because that's the only way we can fix humanity is by improving ourselves. And of course, being kind to others, of course, being li loving and giving. But when we set examples for other people to follow, you know, it's the most powerful thing we can do. I mean, think of, uh, you know, Michael Jordan, freaking uh, LeBron James, Lionel Messi. Like, when you see these guys play, you're like, holy smokes, this is like you're watching greatness. But when you realize you have that greatness within you that you can tap into at any time and realize you are just as great as them and that you can accomplish amazing things like they have. And when you realize that, you'll be able to push yourself harder each day. And then especially when you realize that 
you know, if you keep going, you know, 10 years, 20 years, striving for greatness, that other people will be looking up to you. And then that's how you improve humanity. Because, you know, that's the most important, in, that's the most important thing in my opinion, is to improve humanity. To, we're all trying to level up, being the best positive version of ourselves, being more kinder. You know, a lot of people, I'm sure they don't have that goal, but that's what this channel represents. And that's what this channel is for, is for, is for people to be more kinder, uh, you know, to have virtue and to do the right thing every single day. And by deep being, by cultivating discipline within yourself, you will um, achieve that. So it's, it's just important to keep pushing forward and to keep striving to be the best version of yourself.